Coach Sullivan with BOA Body of Armor out of Westminster, Colorado. We're here in the headquarters today. I'm just here to kind of give you a little bit of an overview, again, of what BOA is. Really trying to get an outreach on this program. Really want to make a big grab for some, some competitive fire this, this summer. And I'm really looking to get fighters and athletes from different disciplines involved in the program to represent their facility and their personal self inside of BOA competitions. Also, for those people that are looking for something unique that isn't based only for fighters or based only for lifters or only for runners, this is a run, fight, lift program also that can be used. So I'm gonna go over a little bit of the philosophy. This isn't the whole thing. This is just kind of the initial breakdown of how the stylistic training works inside of the BOA system. We'll start over here with lifters. So for lifters, what we have is the initial setup. We have people that are really real Olympic lifters, power lifters, and combine lifters is what we're kind of um, talking about in this group. And we're focusing on technique, speed, and power. Now, if you're lifting only for Olympic lifting and power lifting, you're lifting only for really those two sports as those are respected sports in their own right. Now, we're using it mostly to come back to creating um, a, a unique body of armor athlete. So we're really bringing these into a combine form to, to create this unique athlete of body of armor or a BOA athlete. Now, from lifters, let's go over to runners, because we don't get a lot of cross-pollination between these people. We have ultra runners, marathon-type runners, which um, ultra running is just anything longer than a marathon runners. And, and then I put joggers, no insult intended. Joggers, um, just, I'm just calling that anything less than a marathon. <clears throat> so you have 5Ks, half marathons, all that kind of stuff. Well, here you have your runners. And then inside of that, you have recreational runners that would be more like myself that likes to go up into the mountains and I kind of do a run walk thing. Um, and so we all have our piece that we fit. Now over here, we have kind of cross fighters. And two examples that I left up here are MMA and Sambo in that. Now over here, um, we're gonna drop right down below, we have grapplers. So right on grapplers, we have like BJJ, guys, we have no-gi guys, wrestlers, in judo, we kind of fit into this, this, this body for, for this purpose of definition. Now strikers, now we're running into Muay Thai guys, boxers, like hard style karate people, like kudo karate, things like that, and kickboxing. Um, strikers and grapplers, so these guys kind of pull away from each other, and sometimes the fighters move away from these guys, the cross fighters move away from these guys. Sometimes they cross pollinate, but I don't know that that's a majority. Um, certainly runners are, do a, fighters do a little cross running, but it's not often that a, fight, that a runner will just fight, right? So it's, the, the way these cross pollinate with each other is, is very much in a minority body form. So now let's go on to martial arts to get a definition of what, I, what I'm calling martial arts. So martial arts would be um, anything that would be used as like strictly a sport. It's, it's, it's sport, I understand BJJ should fall somewhere in that, but it's more, it's, it's combat form and sport is more effective and usable than, than a lot of this stuff here. So Taekwondo, um, commercial karate, Tai Chi, things like that, there is zero disrespect intended, but these, these commercial forms now of martial arts are um, what, I'm, what I'm calling martial arts. They're, 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 the end product is not a good fighter. It is somebody that has learned the methodology. And there's a little of that goes over here into the BJJ forum. I, what is a belt other than you conformed into the ideology and learned it? So um, there's a little bit goes here, but for the most part, martial artists fall here. Martial athletes kind of fall in these areas. Hopefully that explains that. Taekwondo might be a martial athlete as well. They, they tend to pretty, be in pretty good shape if they make it to the Olympic level, but uh, they're in shape only for what they do. Now, bodybuilders, bodybuilders is a peculiar sport if it is a sport at all. Um, it's, it's more of a dogma in, in my mind. So we have a focus on size, we have a focus on image, we have a focus on um, clothing, style, and like bathroom selfies and stuff like that. So some of these people can be pretty healthy, some, some are not. Um, it's, this is more of an ego base thing here, and this is almost mystical 
here to me, almost in the, the area of mysticism. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wipe this out because these, these two don't really play a role in the BOA program. So I'm sorry, no, no insult intended. Um, I just don't know what to do with them. So let, let us move on to what we're doing here. So we're gonna take the combine lifting from all this stuff, we're seeking technique, speed, and power. We're gonna combine it with ultra running and jogging probably. Um, marathon length running, people can do that if they'd like. Uh, we, we're looking for the benefits, cardiovascularly, uh, grit wise, and adventure of lifestyle, um, quality of lifestyle that you can get from both lifting and running. Now we're gonna mix this in with cross fighting, grappling, and striking as well. Inside of the bow system, depending upon where you land in these three ranks up here, so you're gonna have yourself a Ludus, a Gaulus, a Pisterius, and then finally a Lunista. Now, these lifts are mostly gonna be inside of Ludus, and runs are gonna be inside of Ludus. Now, over here, we're starting to add stuff together, so we're starting to get partners that work with us. And so the fight techniques and drilling come into play in the second one. And then in the third one, we're in full application. And then in the fourth one, we're like at that professional level application. You should be absolutely fluent in all the information of these in order to be a lunista. So you should be a coach or a competitive fighter or a black belt or somebody that can prove that they can do their job inside of the body of armor program. So what is BOA in a nutshell? It is first and foremost a fitness program that combines all this at, at one or four different levels for people to get involved with comfortably and learn more than just one of these things. So you're gonna kind of bits and pieces from all these things and then individuals can go in and master if they'd like in, in each one of these divisions as well. And second of all, so first of all, it's fitness, okay? So we have a fitness program Number one, all right? Number one is a fitness program. Now, what we have that's gonna spring off of this is a competition, all right? That's my favorite thing. So number two, we're gonna have a competition. And so, if you come in as a ludus, you might be lifting and running in the competition. You come in at Gullis, you're lifting, running, and showing that you can do drills with a partner. Um, as Besterius, you're coming in competitively. You may actually get fights if you, if you decide to go that far. You will show us a run, you will show us your lifts, you will show us your strength, your agility, your ability to work with your training partners, and then actually get multiple forms of competition on the mat, from grappling to um, like wrestling, to takedowns only, to submission grappling, to MMA, to kickboxing. All this is gonna be combined into these really interesting track meet-like martial arts program. So that kind of gives you a summarization of the body of armor. I try to make this really quick so people can hear me speak this in different ways to try to reach people, um, because people hear different languages. And I don't want people to think that you're gonna join BOA and then boom, you have to be a fighter. That's not true. And I don't want them to think you're gonna join BOA and you'll never be a fighter, because that's not true either. The program's gonna take you where you wanna go using the best technology that we have and proven technology, lots, uh, lots of stuff from the American lifting, um, Olympic lifting programs and the Russian lift, lifting programs on how we can apply this stuff, this information, this strength training to fight functionality. Now, the one thing that makes the fitness program in BOA unique is all things lead to combat effectiveness. So there is no intentional motions that don't have something to do with combat. And we can get into that in greater detail in a later video. But all roads lead to combat effectiveness inside of the BOA Body of Armor Fitness Program. That is what separates us from the crowd. Guys, this is Coach Sullivan with BOA Body of Armor out of Westminster, Colorado. Thank you for your time.